I'm not homeless as such. Not really. All the signs are there. No money, no address, nothing but a cocktail dress and a body to fill it. I know exactly where to go. Bars. Men in groups. They all have something to prove to the rest of their herd and I'll happily help them withhold their status. I'm not shallow, but I have a checklist. Nice watch. Well dressed. And the coin section of his wallet must be untouched. I never buy my own drinks. I never need to. I've learned a few tricks along the way. Let them start a conversation. That way they think they have control. Ask about his incredibly successful family business he inherited. Pretend not to notice that he's looking at your chest more than your face when you're talking. Laugh at his jokes. Twenty minutes before he calls a taxi. A new personal best. The driver shoots me a wink in the rearview mirror, not in a creepy way, more of a silent understanding. He drove me three times last week. It's a very short taxi ride. I always think it's funny how guys with money never venture more than five minutes from their studio apartments. My body runs like a military operation. Your fingertips run across the trenches of my collarbone ignorantly tracing enemy lines. I've pulled the pin. Now there's no way out. There's nothing better than sleeping in your own bed. And if you don't have your own, someone else's bed is the next best thing. I don't struggle. I don't need a sleeping bag and a dog. I don't need your spare change or your pity. I just need him to feel like he's in control. life is the survival of the sexiest, an endless cycle of seduction. This body is my weapon of choice, my ammunition.